I just woke up and yeah, sleep. And I will be getting that actually next week. And I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous about today and the rest of the week. But we gonna see how this go. Um, so here's my way in. I'll be back with more. You ain't gotta be in my video. I don't want you in my video. Anyway, so I'm driving my son to school. So excuse him and his antics. But anyway, um, oh shit. So my first drink is gonna be this Premier Protein Cafe Latte, and this one is actually good. That chocolate one is nasty. What the hell did you do? I do that. Hold on. Anyway. I'm drinking the cafe latte and this one is actually good compared to the chocolate and vanilla i haven't tried the other flavors i'm thinking about ordering them off amazon because i don't know where else to find them but this one so far i like this one i could drink this one every morning i don't know about throughout the day but i could drink this one every morning um so yeah i'm gonna chug this down i'm gonna sip it because i gotta get used to sipping so i'm gonna sip this down and i'll be back again So I'm back, um, and I am back for lunch. So now I'm gonna have a Premier Protein Vanilla, um, a sugar-free Jello, and some lobster broth. I gotta get a little fancy with it because I'm not just drinking chicken broth or the typical chicken broth. I gotta drink better than bouillon. If you don't know what better than bouillon is, I'll show y'all later. But it's like way more flavor. It tastes like soup, and it's easier to handle for me um well in my opinion um but after today i don't think i'm gonna update like all day long for seven days because it's pretty much gonna be the same thing if anything i'm just gonna update y'all about how i feel about it or how i'm feeling that day or how hard or easy the day was um but yeah i'll be back and i'm gonna do my hair too so i'll see y'all later hey so i'm back um, and right now I am eating lunch. I meant to record my lunch or I meant to record me making lunch, which was just, it's just literally lobster broth and water. Um, I don't think y'all really need to see a video of that, but if you want to see a video of me making my broth, sure. Um, but yeah, I use better than bouillon because regular chicken broth and regular broth in general, like out of a box, it's not for me. Um, these just seem to taste like soup to me, so I feel like it's gonna be easier for me to get down or and keep drinking. Um, I'm also having a vanilla premier protein, yuck, and a sugar free jello, yuck. Um, <laughs> but this is pretty much gonna be my lunch, and I'm probably gonna have something similar for dinner. I may switch up the broth flavor. I brought uh, I bought a chicken and I bought a beef. I think I also have vegetable and mushroom in my fridge already. Um, so I don't know which one I'm going to use, but it's going to still be the same thing. Um, so yeah, I'll come back later with an update. So far, so good though, y'all. Like I'm not starving. I've smelled some, oh, and body shots. I'm going to give you guys some body shots and prepare to be amazed at how much weight I didn't gain. I'm not back to the weight that I was, but I'm pretty close to it. And that's a shame but i said i was gonna be transparent and i was gonna be open and honest so i'm gonna show you guys my body and yeah but i'm gonna do that later not right now so stay tuned so um i cheated um and i cheated kind of bad i was doing real well until I don't know. I just got, I wanted to eat. I wouldn't even say that I was hungry. I just wanted to eat. And I ended up eating some tortilla chips with dip and fat pot stickers. But now I feel like shit. Like, I feel like shit. So I'm at the gym right now. And I'm about to work out. I don't know if that's going to help me. But I'm about to work out because now I really feel like shit. And I'm nervous that I'm not going to pass my pre-op diet. Well, I'm not going to pass my diet for surgery to be able to get the surgery. And I think I'm just overthinking, but I am really like 
mad at myself because I was doing so well and I let like just the thought of eating overtake me like food addiction is real it it really is and people who think it ain't ain't never been fat in their life but food addiction is real but let me go in here and i'm gonna work out and i'm gonna burn off as much cal as many calories as i possibly can in an hour maybe an hour and a half and i'll be back hey so i'm on my way to take my baby to school again and yes this is my drop off hoodie um I'm having the premiere again. The cafe latte. Um today's gonna be a better day. I'm not gonna cheat because I felt like shit yesterday after cheating. So today I'm not gonna cheat. Um plus I want my surgery, so I can't cheat. I can't cheat. I can't cheat anymore. Um but yeah. Uh that's probably the only check-in I'm gonna do. Maybe at the end of the day, I'm going to check in again and let y'all know how it went. I'm going to do my hair today, too. Um, yeah, I'm going to check in tonight to let y'all know how today was for me. And I will see y'all later. So, today is day five. And I cheated my ass off. Not today. I didn't cheat today. I cheated the Saturday. And I cheated the first day and I'm gonna get to that so the first day was hard like I think it was psychological though because it's like well this whole thing is psychological but I think because I knew I couldn't eat for the next what 20 something days then that I just I just went out of control and I didn't really do too bad I ate I just ate some chips with dip some tortilla chips with dip but I felt horrible after that. Like, I felt so bad after I ate that. So, the day after that and the next day... No, the day after that, I did... I didn't cheat. I did well. It was hard as hell, but I did well. And then Friday, I cheated again. And this time, it was because I was on the edge of saying, I don't want to do this no more. Because I started thinking about more things other than the fact that I couldn't eat. I mean, I feel like the fact that I couldn't eat was a trigger as to why I didn't want to do it anymore. But I started thinking about the fact that you can get like osteoporosis if you don't take your multivitamins or if you don't get enough calcium. I started thinking about the fact that I don't have any ailments. Like I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have diabetes. And it's like I don't want to develop something because i went and got this surgery not saying that that happens but i don't know so i'm like maybe i could just lose weight again i ain't got to do this surgery but then i talked to some people and they kind of not convinced me to do it again but made me feel better about going through with it um so yeah friday i ate tacos i didn't feel bad about that I didn't, but it's <laughs> Saturday and today is Sunday. I have not cheated, but I have been chewing up things that I'm cooking for my family and spitting it out because I want to taste it. For some reason, I'm cooking new, new and exciting things when I can't even eat them, and that's crazy to me, but that was good. Um, I'm really bad at this YouTube stuff, if y'all can't tell. I'm so bad at talking to a camera. It's just so unnatural for me. Um... But, yeah, I have two days until I am on that operating table. And I am nervous. I didn't think I would be nervous. Well, I haven't been nervous up until, like, the past. Until I started this. No, I wasn't even nervous in the first few days of the liquid diet. I feel like I became nervous, like, when I decided that I didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I, I just got, I don't know, I just got so nervous. I mean, I'm still nervous, but not as nervous about it. I just I just really hope there's no complications afterwards. I don't want to have any complications. And I'm praying to God that I don't have any. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the last time I weighed in was this morning. And I am at 255. I started at 265, so I'm 10 pounds down. Most of it is water, so it's not that exciting yet. Um, 
I am going to give y'all body shots. I may do that the day of surgery, like that morning of surgery, because I don't know, I just keep forgetting to do it. I will do it now, but I ain't really got nowhere to put my camera to give y'all body shots. Um, but if I figure it out, I'll do it. That's all I have for today. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. So I'm gonna give y'all my body shots before I go to bed. Damn. So, I'm watching all these VSG videos. It looks like I'm crying. I'm not crying, y'all. But, I'm watching all these VSG videos, and it's like nobody really talks about the food funeral. Like, it's real life. You start to realize how you really won't be able to eat how you used to eat. Like, even if something is, like, good and you want to take just one more bite, you won't be able to do that. And I am not sad about it, but I'm, like, coming to a realization that I am addicted to food. Like I said it earlier, but I really am. And it's, like, people think this shit ain't real, but it really it's real like I never thought I would feel this way and it's like I, I was a culinary student I'm a person that loves to cook and cooks all the time so it's like how is my life about to look now it's like totally different than when I lost weight the first time and I was still able to eat or if I wanted to I could eat however much I wanted to and when I wanted to how I wanted to now after well after the surgery, I won't be able to do any of that. Like, my body is going to control me. My stomach is going to control what I eat. Not my mind. Not me just wanting stuff and getting it because I want it. And I guess I am a little sad. But I'm not crying. I swear. It's the ring light. <laughs> but yeah, I think I just want to come on here and talk about that a little bit. Um... Yeah, two more days. Um, I go to work tomorrow, so I'm going to see how that is on a liquid diet. I hope I don't get irritated and nobody or just irritated in general, even though I don't like my job and it's already just, yeah. Like I said, I'm not good at this YouTube stuff. I've tried it plenty of times and I'm just not good at it I don't know how to be myself on camera this is about as me as you're gonna get maybe when I get comfortable though I'll get a little more you know okay on camera but for now this is what you're gonna get and yeah talk to you guys tomorrow maybe or I might just talk to y'all the day before my surgery the seventh, not the seventh, it's not the seventh, the nineteenth. I have my calendar marked all funny, but I may talk to y'all the nineteenth because I know I'm gonna be so nervous and I'm gonna need to talk to somebody. So I'll see y'all then. So I'm almost didn't make it here, I almost chickened out. But, I'm here. I'm a little nervous, but not as nervous as I was a couple days ago. Um, my auntie prayed over me, so that made me feel much better. You ruining my video. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you guys after surgery when I'm all drugged up. Well, see you later. I will be. You ain't hear how she said narcotics. Okay. So it's the day after surgery, and yes, they swelled my lip up. 
with the breathing tube. Um, but I feel okay. Yesterday, I felt like shit. Like, I can't even describe those pains. It was horrible. I couldn't turn. I couldn't move. It hurt when I talk. So, if you tried to call or text me, I was not thinking about you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but today, <laughs> I'm much better. Um... Yeah, so I don't know how much I weigh. Probably won't weigh myself until like, I don't know. I probably won't weigh myself for another week to see how I how much I weigh. Uh, last time I checked on the scale, I was two fifty two, and hopefully I'll be like two forty five or something by next week. Um, so yeah, that was my journey. I don't know how informative I was at all. If I was at all, any if I was if I was any help at all, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. So let's talk about this past month where you guys have not seen me. So, I'm officially four weeks out. I got sleeved on the 20th, so about four weeks. Um, I am in the soft food stage. So, meaning I can have anything that can be easily stuck with a fork. Um, so, I'm going to be real honest and let y'all know I've been cheating. Like, in the beginning with the liquid phase, I would take food or snacks and like chew it up and spit it out, I wouldn't swallow it. Sometimes I would, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I would swallow a little bit, but for the most part, I would just take food, chew it up, spit it out. And then in like the, what was the next phase? The full liquid phase, the same thing. And the puree phase, I, puree bullshit <laughs> like i puree like pasta and enchiladas only did that twice though i did the pasta like twice i did the enchiladas like once then after that i was pretty good i eat like sweet potatoes and sardines and stuff like that so now i'm in the soft food stage and i'm noticing that i'm not as far along as other people are and my cousin is saying because I haven't followed the rules all the way, which may be true. So today I've decided to go low carb, which is something I don't really want to do because with keto comes a lot. Well, not necessarily keto, but being in ketosis, there comes a lot of stuff with it, like losing your hair, um, bad breath, a bunch of stuff. And I don't really want to deal with that, which is why I was trying to continue to incorporate carbs. Um, I still have been losing, just really slow. So, as of yesterday, I was 242. Um, my starting weight was 265 before um, surgery and like 250 something after, after surgery. Wait, no, Two, <laughs> 265 was my starting weight when I got to the my surgery day I was 256 256 or 252 but and today I'm 242 I probably would have been like 230 by now if I would have been eating right but we ain't gonna think about that we just gonna do better um so today I had eggs and tofu and right now I'm walking on the track. I'm probably going to do like eight laps. Um, my next appointment is on the 29th. And I'm going to try to stick to, well, I am going to stick to eating low carb and eating more lower volume. Because I think I eat too much. Um, I definitely eat too much and I definitely eat too fast. So by my next appointment, I'm going to be more conscious and mindful about that. So for my next appointment, I'm hoping to be down about 10 pounds because I don't like how slow this is going and I didn't set up there and get cut on. Um, but yeah, 
so i'll come back with an update maybe in another video um but this will be the end of this one see you guys later oh i'm gonna um put some updated body shots in just to see if i can see a difference i feel like i feel a difference and maybe slightly see a difference i can fit into a pair of my work pants man i'm a little tight still but at first i couldn't zip them at all so even though i haven't lost a lot of pounds i definitely lost some inches so i'll put that in there later well in a second later this video all over the place and i apologize but i just want to mention too that my skin was looking so good like a week and a half ago it look okay now i got a chemical peel i'm still peeling but my skin was looking so nice and I don't know if it's because of like the change in diet, well it gotta be. And the water intake. But yes, I can't wait till I have better looking skin. It looks so much better than the beginning of my video, like when I first started recording. Um, so that's another good thing. That's the plus about it. Uh yeah, I'll be back with them body shots. So just realized I don't think I've ever talked about what the VSG surgery is and it stands for vertical sleeve gastronomy um i think um i think that's the word the last word but it's pretty much when they cut out 80 percent about 80 percent of your stomach leaving your stomach maybe about this big um i kind of think they left mine a little bigger but that's neither here or there um but yeah they leave your stomach it's supposed to be about walnut size so you super restricted when it comes to food especially initially um even water um but that's supposed to be supposed to act as a tool to help you live a better lifestyle live a healthier lifestyle so that's why i chose to get it um because my relationship with food was just like out of whack um before i was little not regretful that I got it, but I was like, damn, I was just still having my food funeral, I guess. Um, now, I'm happy with it. Like, I'm happy with it. Um, I definitely eat far less than what I usually or used to eat, um, even though I'm not eating the right things. Today I did, I had eggs and tofu. Um, but yeah. So, like I said, for the third time, I'll be back with body shots. <laughs> okay, so this is similar. Well, these are the same pants I had on from the first body shot. It's a different top, but pretty similar. I think I see a difference. <laughs> I'm let you look at it. And here are my incisions. They went in through here. This is a burn I was cooking. Here. This is the biggest one. This is the only one that really hurt it. They went in through here. And here. So it's a total of five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put some scar stuff on all of them though. Okay, see you guys in my next video.